When it comes to stock photography websites, I've tried a lot of them over the years as a digital marketer, but there's a couple that I've found that I really like. I'd love to share with you. Um, the first one is deposit photos. I'll leave a link to these down in the description where you can check them out. But what I love about deposit photos is you can sign up for a subscription where the photos end up being like a dollar per photo, sometimes even less, sometimes like 79 cents a photo. But the photos are really high quality and they have a lot to choose from everything anything you can think of even illustrations they also have videos so you can come up here and choose what you want whether it's a vector a photo an illustration video they have music sound effects they even have free stock photos so you can come in to the free stock photos and essentially get some freebies they have free uh, free video background remover. There's different tools that they've started rolling out. This to create editor, logo maker. <laughs> it's kind of crazy. The other really cool thing is <clears throat> when you're searching for images, you're perusing through them. Sometimes you're like, oh, wait, well, there was this image that I saw. I can't remember which one it was that I really liked. Well, it has this recently viewed section where you can actually go back and look at some of these images that you viewed in the recent past. And be like, oh yeah, that was the one. And then there's also um, the download history and everything. So this one is awesome. The only thing is if you need a ton of images, it can get expensive, right? Uh, like if you run a lot of blogs or build a lot of websites or what have you. So another cool tool that I like to use is called Yay Images. And what I like about Yay Images is it's a subscription. So you pay and then you get unlimited downloads. So for just 12 bucks a month, you can subscribe and download as many images as you want and footage. So there are some videos as well. Now it is a little bit more limited. So you can see <laughs> their featured collections is a little bit smaller. Uh, but that being said, they still have a lot of images uh, that you can choose from. They have vectors, footage. So if I'm trying to get a lot of images, then usually I'll use Yay Images because it's unlimited access to the stock photography and videography for just 12 bucks a month. Whereas with deposit photos, you essentially need to pay every time you uh, purchase an image. Now what's nice about deposit photos is, um, let's say I like this image right here. I could actually come and download a free watermark preview. And then when you open this up, it's going to have a, it's going to have some watermarks on it. So you can see there's one down here at the bottom. There's some even on the image itself, but you could crop this one off the bottom and then use this in a mock-up in like a design and just make sure everything looks good before you go ahead and license the image. And then the image is going to have this ID number. So then after you've gotten, you know, figured out that, yep, this is the image we want to use, you could actually go back in and search that number. And then it's going to pull up that image that you can then license. When you download it, you can choose which size you want. You can just do like huge <laughs> image or you can do a smaller version. I like to do the standard one and then just reduce the size on, you know, in an image editor as needed. And then it gives you recommended um, similar images, which I really like because if you're looking at this one, you think it's going to work well. You're, you know, some of these similar ones that have, it's basically a person in a business setting with like a tablet or something behind a building. We're kind of getting some variations of that same thing here. So they seem to do a pretty good job of recognizing. And then they also have the same model. So you can go check out uh, other photos that that person has been in. Um, it's just great for being able to track down exactly the type of image you want, test it out, and then be able to come back, find that image, download it, get the license for it and everything. I mean, you know, part of the reason why you use stock photos to begin with is because you don't want to get copyright strike, <laughs> not copyright strikes, that's on YouTube,
copyright violations, um, like sued, right, by a company for copyright infringement. You don't want to get sued for using images that you don't have the rights to use. So if you're going to use stock photos, then you can download these, buy it, and then you have the rights to use the license for the, you have the rights for the image so that you can use it. And so that's you know, more or less why people use stock photography is because they don't have their own images and you can't just go pull random images off the internet or else you risk getting <laughs> copyright infringement lawsuits on your hands. So I hope you found this helpful. If there's anything you did have questions about in terms of you know, other stock photography websites or um, you know, the best ways to use these websites, don't hesitate to reach out. You can just drop your questions in the comment section below and I'll be sure to get back to them there. Look, if you're the type of person that just doesn't even want to deal with your online marketing anymore <laughs> and you'd rather just hand it over and have somebody take care of it for you, or if you really just want to talk to somebody and get some pointers, um, let's connect. I do offer consulting. I have different, uh, services I can offer to help you grow your business through digital marketing. But yeah, feel free to check out my website. You can come on over to TravisWilkie.com. Here's how to spell it because it's kind of funky. Uh, but you can come check out some case studies, see the results I've been able to get for my clients over the years. And uh, if you're interested, we can connect. I'd love to help you out. If you can't tell, I love helping business owners grow, especially when it comes to digital marketing. So, all right, I'll talk to you soon. Take care.